Hello, my name is Ivan Wozniak and I would like to tell you a story about a how a tiny business on the River Blythe at Creswell became one of the biggest names in the pottery industry worldwide. No, I'm not talking about Josiah Wedgwood, but Blythe Colours, a colour maker based in Stoke-on-Trent, England. Blythe Colours was formed in 1870 at Creswell, near Blythe Bridge to supply the local pottery industry of Stoke-on-Trent with coloured materials. At the time, it was highly likely that a handful of people worked to grind the coloured minerals using large grinding wheels, in much the same way as wheat was ground into flour powered by a water wheel. The company went through a number of owners until about 1908 when the Wildblood family acquired the business. From that time, the company grew in size and stature until it became the major supplier to the growing pottery industry in the UK. By the 1930s it had its own fleet of vehicles and a technical laboratory employing talented chemists such as W.G. Ball and E.H. Ledbetter. The company continued to flourish after World War II and became recognised as a leading international colours business supplying products worldwide. It prided itself on looking after its workers and provided many social activities including cricket club, cycling club, tennis clubs, bowl clubs and even a football club. The site continued to expand as the company grew alongside the river and the railway line. By the 1960s Blythe employed over 500 local people and attracted the interest of other larger international businesses. It was eventually bought in 1963 by Johnson Mathy, now a FTSE 100 public company. Johnson Mathy invested heavily not only in the factory and its processes in the 1970s and 80s, but also in research and development, providing the basis for further international expansion. Customers visited from all over the world to see firsthand how much technology went into making the quality products they produced. The worldwide pottery industry remained the major customer for Blythe Colours, later known as Johnson Mathy. It was a key supplier to many well-known tableware companies, including household names such as Spode, Royal Dalton, Royal Worcester and Wedgwood. Its colour products were famed for their high quality and consistency, and their pink and magenta enamel colours, used to decorate porcelain and bone china, were world beaters. These colours contained microscopic gold particles. Equally, Blythe produced some of the finest decorative precious metal finishes such as gold and platinum, which were commonly used on porcelain and bone china. However, it also served other ceramic industries such as the tile industry and the sanctuary industry, local companies like H&R Johnson and Twyford's bathrooms relied heavily on their products and expertise. Blythe Colours was also an established supplier to the glass industry, providing glass decorative products for tumblers, bottles and even highly technical enamels for car windscreens. Perhaps the least known of Blythe Colours products was jewellery enamels. These products are fired onto metal backings to produce not only jewellery, but badges and other colourful decorative items. The company developed a highly specialised pigment for the plastics and wood stain industry, including supplies to the Ministry of Defence for military use. A specialist plant was built to manufacture these pigments in Kids Grove in the north of the city and continues to operate to this day under new ownership. In 1994, Johnson Mathy expanded again by merging with their biggest competitor, Cookson Group of Mia Stoke-on-Trent. The Blythe Colours Creswell site continued to operate until closure at the end of 2014, following the decimation of the pottery industry. On closure, Cheadle Discovery Group, a local heritage group, acquired the archive of Blythe Colours committed to displaying the archive in a series of displays and exhibitions. The first of these was in 2016 in Cheadle and was well received. 
The next will be in September 2021 at Blythe Centre and will celebrate 150 years of Blythe Colours.